CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 111 through 115. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 111. A technician identifies that a printer's fuser is overheating and has paper stuck to it. Given the scenario, what would be the most appropriate next step in addressing this issue? The answer is A. Turn off and disable the printer before performing any repairs. The most appropriate next step is to turn off and disable the printer to prevent further use and potential injury or damage. An overheating fuser can cause safety hazards such as burns or even a fire risk. Disabling the printer ensures no one attempts to use it while it's in an unsafe state. It also allows the fuser to cool down before any attempt is made to remove the stuck paper or perform repairs. Question 112. A user reports limited or no connectivity on a laptop. Upon inspection, it is found that the device has the following IP address. IPv4 address 169.254.42.18. Which of the following is the most likely cause of this issue? The answer is A. DHTP failure. The IP address 169.254.42.18 is an automatic private IP address, also known as a PIPA. A PIPA addresses are self-assigned by a computer when it's configured to obtain an IP address automatically but fails to receive one from the DHCP server. This failure to obtain an IP from the DHCP server is most likely due to the server being down or unreachable which prevents the distribution of network configuration parameters. This situation results in limited or no connectivity for the client device. Question 113. Which ports are commonly used as the default for HTTP and HTTPS traffic? Select 2. The answer is C and E. 80 and 443. Ports 80 and 443 are the standard ports assigned for web traffic. Port 80 is used for HTTP, which is unencrypted, and port 443 is used for HTTPS, which is encrypted. Question 114. A user complains that documents are not printing out correctly from a laser printer. Some of the print is missing and the pages come out unreadable, which of the following would potentially correct the issue? The answer is A. Replace the transfer roller. In laser printers, the transfer roller aids in transferring toner from the drum to the paper. If the roller is worn out or damaged, it can lead to incomplete transfer of the toner which manifests as missing or faint areas in the printed document. Regular wear or contamination of the roller can impair its ability to maintain an even electrical charge, essential for attracting the toner particles from the drum to the paper. Question 115. Which of the following is a remote access protocol that is considered not secure? The answer is D, Telnet. Telnet is considered an insecure remote access protocol because it transmits data, including passwords, in plain text without any form of encryption. This makes it susceptible to eavesdropping, where malicious actors can easily intercept and read the transmitted information. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.